in the cranium and face, every time you cross one of these lines called a suture, you are in a new bone. So in the area of your forehead, you have your frontal bone. When you cross this suture, the coronal suture, now you're in the parietal bone. And even though we can't see it from this view, uh, there is a suture right in the center of your head called the sagittal suture that separates the two parietal bones. Cross this suture in the back, which is the lambdoid suture. You're in the occipital bone. And then this suture here, the squamous suture, below that is the temporal bone. In front of the temporal bone is the sphenoid. And in the eye socket, we can see a little bit of the ethmoid bone. So here we have removed the top part of the skull. So we're looking at an internal view. You'll notice there are also sutures in there. So take a second and try to figure out which bones are where. In the front is the frontal bone. Sitting in the middle of that, the ethmoid. Posterior to them is the sphenoid. On either side, you have your two temporal bones and your occipital bone in the back. So if I were you, I would take a second and pause the video and write down those six names and also point out where they are and narrate yourself through it just like I did. Because when you're watching a video about anatomy, if you are not stopping to review periodically and reiterate the things that have just been told to you, you're not actually learning. Because understanding is not the same as remembering. If you take a second to review it, you will remember it better later. So before we move on to the facial bones, let's look at some of those bones from a different angle. So here was the parietal bone, which means here would be the temporal. What are you seeing in the upper part of the eye socket? That's just part of the frontal bone. We didn't see it from this angle before, but this suture here is the end of the frontal bone and everything above it is frontal bone. On the medial part of your eye socket is the ethmoid. Over here, that's just part of the sphenoid. We did not see that view of the sphenoid before, but it makes sense because we know here's temporal, in front of the temporal is the sphenoid. So yes, you can see some of the sphenoid in the eye socket. All right, so look in front of the ethmoid. You cross a suture right there in the corner of your eye where your tear duct would be is the lacrimal bone. The bone on the bridge of your nose, actually it is two bones. Those are your nasal bones. The main bone of your upper face is the maxilla. And notice the maxilla does come up in between the lacrimal and nasal bone and does join up with the frontal bone. The jawbone is the mandible. Then the cheekbones are the zygomatic bones. Then if you look over here, the posterior one-third of the roof of your mouth, you have the palatine bones. Then these little shelves here, um, it's not the best view, we'll look at it again in a different view, but that little shelf kind of coming out of the side of your nose is the inferior nasal concha. And then this sort of medial septum of your nose here, that you're also seeing in the back, that is the vomer. 
And also I'll point out that in the front here, in front of the palatine bone, what's that still going to be part of? That's still just the maxilla. All right, so take a second. We just said eight names. There are 14 facial bones total, but there are eight names. I would take a minute, write them down, point them out, and always be narrating to yourself things in relationship to each other so you're kind of creating a mental map. Don't just say, oh, this is the lacrimal bone. Say, this is the lacrimal bone, and I can tell because it's in front of the ethmoid bone. It is posterior to the maxilla. And I know this is the maxilla because it is adjacent to the nasal bone. As promised, here's like a little bit of a better view of the nose. So recall the two shelves coming out the side were the inferior nasal concha, the sort of floor of the nose slash roof of the mouth is the maxillary bones. This septum, the inferior portion of it is the vomer, and this up here, we didn't mention it, that is part of the ethmoid bone. So yeah, you can see the ethmoid a little bit in your nose, a little bit on the medial walls of your orbits, and also remember you're seeing some of it in the actual cranial cavity. All right, so that's all I'm going to talk about today as far as the bones of the cranium and face. I hope it was helpful. Have a great day and have fun learning.